we're on the um, upper reaches of the River Kennet and I'm going to show you where we've got some water voles. Because it's a rare species, it's important to know how many water voles we've got here. One of the um, recent tools that we've acquired is a, a trail camera which will catch um, movement sensitive activity and will confirm that we definitely do have water voles present. We need to look after all the species on our land. The richness of our life and our interaction with, with nature is the fact that we have this diversity of, of species. If we lose any of these species, and especially if we were to lose an endearing animal like the, the water vole, it would be a disaster as, as far as I'm concerned. This area down here has um, a number of very good um, field signs of water voles, and in particular, we've got seed remains. That's very typical of voles feeding, and in this location, we believe it to be water voles. The most important sign is the fact it's been chewed off at 45 degrees. That is, I would say, typical of water voles, and um, what we need to try and do is find other field signs to confirm exactly which species it, it, it might be. In this particular location, we've got a run running through here, so you can just make out running through the reeds in that location, and running back through in, in that location, you can see where some animal has been coming through. We've also um, got a few droppings located down, down in this location as well. Waterfowl droppings are like uh, guinea pig poo. Rat droppings are very similar but have a pointy end to them. So if it's like guinea pig poo, it's more likely to be water vole than rat droppings. We're very lucky to have them on the, on the upper reaches of the Kennets. I think they're fantastic little animals. We, we should be doing everything we can to, to protect them.